By now, many of you are probably aware that the US Department of Justice and the ATF in their ongoing efforts to reclassify pistol or firearm stabilizing braces or blades as stocks, depending on the certain characteristics that might be found on the firearm. Now, if what I just said was confusing, that's because it is. The DOJ is attempting to redefine what a pistol stabilizing brace is in a way that would allow them to have sole discretion of whether or not they want to charge you with being in possession of a short-barreled rifle or a short-barreled shotgun. The ATF and the DOJ are going above and beyond their authority to regulate firearms in a way that would be very dangerous for a lot of people. Many people are currently in possession of a firearm equipped with a pistol stabilizing brace or a firearm stabilizing brace. And that's great. These are excellent firearms. These are firearms that are equipped to be able to be handled in one hand more effectively. These are firearms that are enjoyed for lawful purposes by many people. It appears as if right now we have a comment period that's going until the 4th, so you need to submit a public comment prior to then. Now, this might seem great, but if you look at it right now, this public comment period has been open for a few days now, and there's only 13,000 public comments. 13,000. Anyone, whether you're in the state of California or elsewhere, if you own guns or are interested in owning guns, I need you. In fact, everyone needs you to write opposition, a comment to the ATF and the DOJ. Tell them, do not do this. Now, I'm going to leave a link down in the description where you can read the proposed uh, opinion piece that they're going to be putting out and where you can actually comment on it and make a public comment. But there's a few things you need to know. You need to make sure you use your full first and last name. You also need to use your mailing address in full. You cannot use too much profanity. If you do any of those three things, you're going to be put in a situation where they will not have to actually respond to your comment. They can file it away, but it won't be public. They won't have to make a response. They won't have to do more work. We need to put them in a position where they need to use <laughs> as much effort as possible and reconsider this potentially life-ruining decision because a lot of people right now are currently in the business of making and selling these products. A lot of people are currently in possession of firearms that, based on these vague, confusing, and downright arbitrary criteria, could be in possession of something that could land them in prison for 10 years. This is not good. What you need to do is you need to go make a public comment. I'm going to have those links down below to where you can read this potential legislation that they're trying to put through. And yes, I know it's not their authority to legislate, but it's essentially what it is. It's something that's going to affect the way we live lawfully. A lot of people will comment and a lot of people have commented on my channel alone saying that they are willing to fight and die for what they believe in. But many of those people simply aren't willing to send a text, which is essentially what I'm asking you to do. You need to go and you need to make a comment. Now, if you saw a public comment online on Facebook or some sort of group that was looked great, do not just hit copy paste. If you hit copy paste, they're going to consider that one comment and lump all of those comments together. You're going to want to use maybe some guidelines that you've seen from other great templates online. Some good examples to comment on would be the weight, the caliber, the descriptions that they are going to be using. If you take those criteria and respond to them and say, hey, please don't consider this or this is arbitrary or this does not affect whether a firearm is deadly or dangerous or used for lawful purposes, I think that would be an excellent thing to comment on. A lot of people are saying things like, I don't want to be on a list. I don't want to give the DOJ my name and address. 66 to 70% of my channel's audience are in California. And if you've bought a firearm in the state of California, the California Department of Justice has all of your information and it, it has those firearms registered to your name. If you have ever gotten an SBR or an SBS or a suppressor in another state, the ATF already knows all of your name and information. There's so much going on right now, and in the world of information, where if you've taken a photo of your gun and posted it on Instagram, or you like gun videos, or you watch gun videos on various social media, you're already on a list. And if you're not already on a list, you're doing it wrong. Many people are then going to criticize and say, hey, you know, when has using our words ever worked? We need to, you know, go refresh the tree of liberty or something like that. But we can point at the actual time where this did work for us. With the green tip ban, 80,000 people wrote to the ATF saying, do not ban green tip considering it armor piercing ammunition. And because so many were critical of that ban, it ended up going in our favor. So we need more people. Right now, a lot of people are saying 80K is the number. We're at 13,000 and we are about 
14 days away or 13 days away, I believe. I'd love to see it hit 100K. I got 100K subscribers. So if 100,000 people commented, awesome. I doubt it's gonna work that way, but you need to go out and harass your favorite gun influencer. If they aren't talking about this, <sighs> they're selling you out. If your favorite gun influencer has not posted, has not done anything, has not made any comment on the brace ban, they're just using you. You need to be active about this. Go out, tell your friends, tell your family, send them the links. I'm gonna have links down below, some information that you might wanna read. I'm really just kind of a little disappointed. I thought that there would be a lot more public comment on this. Um, I really just wanna see more people leave good comments. They don't need to be long. They don't need to be 14 paragraphs long. It really just needs to be something. Go in there, find one criteria, comment on that, say why it's arbitrary, say why it's dangerous to potentially making people felons, say why they're useful for X, Y, or Z reason, say why they aren't actually dangerous to society, whatever it is, make a comment, be polite, do not curse, don't just copy paste something off the internet, use your full name, use your correct mailing address. It's really all it is. It should only take you five to 10 minutes at most and it's something that could potentially keep a lot of people out of jail because if a person's firearm is to be considered a short-barreled rifle based on these vague, confusing criteria, I don't wanna see us go down that road. I would love it if more people participated. You guys know the drill, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous, peace.